Lord Soray, it is a pleasure to see you again. Likewise. How are things looking? Well, there's still no telling when the bridge will be repaired. All right. Then I'll make it so that the bridge can be fixed. What exactly does that entail? Uh, forgive me, but I'm a bit confused, Lord Soray. In any case, I shall summon Lady Alicia. Please, wait here a moment. Wait a minute. You're going to do this right away? Yeah. I want to cheer them up as soon as possible. But... Don't you know what humans will think about you if you demonstrate power that transcends their simple understanding? I do indeed. Huh. Well, okay. Suit yourself. Maybe you like being treated like a monster. Hmm. It's your call. I won't stop you. But think carefully about who stands to lose the most from what they're warning you about. Right. If it transpires that the people begin to abhor and shun you, you yourself may end up breeding malevolence. Sure about this? Don't worry so much. I'll be okay. Fine. Understood. I won't stop you. I need to start getting used to this. Both using my power, and feeling the people's scorn. I can help you with that second one. <laughs> All right! It's time to do this! What on earth? What on earth just happened? The hell was that? No human could have done this. Um, think this'll do it? Can you folks repair the bridge now? Uh, of course we can. Isn't that right, everyone? Mr. Nath, can I leave you in charge of rebuilding this bridge? Of course. These are all very skilled workers. I expect they will have it done in no time. Everyone, let's all get to work. Right, okay. okay. Shepard! Gentle Shepard, how can I ever thank you? Ah, uh, there's no need for that. But I must. Thank you so much for everything you have done for us. So there are those that understand. Yes. Nath, might we take some medicine from you? We are actually heading over to Marlin from here. Would it be faster for us to deliver it? Can I ask such a thing of you? Yeah. Thank you. I am in your debt once more. Saray, am I able to cross the river with you? Of course. 
If it's just you, you've already made the Squire's Pact. Good luck. Oh, incredible. I suppose even a raging river is no trouble for a shepherd. But you should still avoid using your powers in front of other people. Yeah, you're probably right. She is. If Earth Dwellers are there to freak out every time like this one does, I may slip my wrists. Seraphedna, I deeply regret my transgression. Yeah, you ought to. And we're already on a first name basis even though we just met? You're awfully rude, you know that? Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. The Nor- What now? You don't know it? How disrespectful. Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. Edna, don't infinite loop the squire. Lila, you understand that Edna is toying with Alicia, don't you? Do something! Sorry, I just thought... Maybe if they had a chance to talk together, they might, you know, become friends. Alicia, this is just how Edna is. You can't take anything she says seriously. Spoken like a true Mebo. What's a Mebo? You don't know? Then do that! Okay, enough! What the... Shall remain vigilant. Everyone okay? Squirrel, a rare sight indeed. Calm down. But look, it's so fluffy, poofy, adora, poofy. Don't tell me you're not moved by its precious little face. I'm not. Unlike you, I don't feel a need to ooh and coo over cute things to make others think I'm cute as well. W what? No, that that's not at all. Shh. You'll frighten poor Poofy away. You're right. My apologies. If you're truly sorry, do the squirrel Karina for me, the fluffy version. There's a squirrel Karina? There's a fluffy version? Poor Alicia. She's so easy to toy with. Should we leave them like this? Understood, Miss Edna. Please teach me the squirrel Karina. I wish to master this fluffy version. Are you sure? My training is very strict. I'm up for the challenge. I think it's all right. They look like they're having fun. True enough. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's do some fortune telling. Please pick one. All right. Nick, Leo, and Edna will have excellent luck. Wait, what about me?
Is this a shrine to Seraphim? Yes. It used to be a vessel of some sort. Used to be, huh? Long ago, there were many minor shrines like these for spreading the blessings of the Seraphim. Indeed. It used to be there were throngs of people offering prayers. The numbers might have dropped some, but there's definitely still people who pray to the Seraphim. Oh yeah, like, remember the shrine at Edna's Mountain? Someone left flowers there, right? That was me. Huh? That shrine is a stand-in for a grave. A grave for all the humans my brothers killed. Oh, I didn't know. I don't need any sympathy. It's the human's own fault anyway. You hear about a dragon, you wander over to check it out, you get gobbled up. Simple as that. It... sword around and win. What about swinging an umbrella? Let's begin the purification of humility. Well, that was quick.
<sighs> Is this because of the epidemic? I take it that you're not good around dogs. Not particularly. Miklio's just worried about claws and effect. What? I don't understand the social hierarchy of humans. Aren't there ranks or hierarchies among the Seraphim? Well, if you must know, whoever makes the best jokes is ranked. Pretty sure that's your rule. A Hellion right here in town? Of course. Look how full of malevolence this place is. And that just now was a dog hellion, wasn't it? Right. That was a hellhound. The pathogen itself has assumed hellion form. Hmm. The plague itself? Let's hurry to the sanctuary and deliver the medicine. What are you doing? I'm fusing different types of equipment together. Oh, you mean the thing that's a royal pain and takes forever? By fusing equipment, you bring out its full potency and create something entirely new. Isn't it wonderful? Boy, I'll say. We Seraphim have plenty of time on our hands, so it's important to have hobbies. That's your hobby? That braised beef and potatoes we just had was delicious, and oh so flavorful! It was my first time trying it as well, but it was delicious! Really? It's your first time? Oh wait, right! I thought you always got to eat lavish food like this, Alicia. Like roasted rapig and fancy schmancy fruits, that sort of stuff? It's not like I eat like royalty every day, although I won't deny I am quite well fed. I'd never imagined that eating with friends like this could be so much fun. Happiness truly does lie within the nuances of everyday life, I suppose. Yeah. Nothing like eating lots of good food with good friends. Definitely puts a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> a full stomach sure makes you sleepy, though. Let's rest up for tomorrow. Shall we return to our rooms? Yeah, good thinking. Good night. Good night. Alicia? Ah! Ah! Sorry, I didn't know you were getting changed! <laughs> it's okay. I was just grooming my armor a bit. Still, it was pretty brazen of me to just enter a girl's room like that. Then allow me to invite you into my room officially. Come in, Saray. If you insist. Was there something you wanted? Oh, I was wondering if you're okay with the pace of the battle. Let me know if you feel overwhelmed. I'm fine. 
My lance and armor are as good as ever. I've been wanting to ask you, actually. Your armor is pretty special, right? <laughs> you mean the transparent parts, right? This armor has been passed down through the Difta family for generations. I'm farthest from the lineage, but there's an ancestor of mine who was renowned for his courage and bravery. It was said he defeated a monster which turned anything it saw into black crystal. Black crystal? Wait, does that mean- Yes. It's said this is the armor he wore. It is part of an old legend after all, so only some parts of it remain. Do you want to see it? Sure. It's a lot clearer than I thought it'd be. I had no idea. Alicia, your meal is- Oh my! Sorry to interrupt you two! L lila it it's not what you think! Yeah. Guess you really should knock before entering someone's room.
I'm sure it came out fine. Lady Alicia, you made it safely. I've brought medicine. What's happening? We can do not to stop the infection. The disease has spread to our ranks. We cannot even exterminate the wild dogs. At this rate, the entire kingdom may very well succumb to its ravages. By the stars. First, please distribute the medicine. Right away. Things will be okay. They've got resources now. Yes. And we can help dispatch the Hellhounds. And yet, I suspect that they are not the true source of this epidemic. A stronger Hellion, born of powerful malevolence. Dragon! No, it's just a Hellion. You can tell because the humans don't see it. It's landing over there! Snacks are done. So this is Marland. It is a city rich in history, is it not? I believe even the Celestial Record mentioned it. Yeah, I always wanted to visit Marland, the city of knowledge nestled amongst the holy trees. Their shining branches are as a beacon unto the fruit of knowledge and the flower of aesthetics. There walks this continent no true scholar, no true artist who did not once frolic in its sylvan depths. Well, the fruit looks pretty rotten right now, if you ask me. Pretty sure no one did. Even so, she's right. Maybe so. But flowers will always bloom again in springtime, and bear their fruit in autumn. Indeed, the cycle will never end so long as there remains passion for knowledge and beauty. Right? Very true. History has proven as such. I think you have flowers in your head or something. Don't you like flowers, Edna? I mean, they're fine. The pretty ones, at least. Don't tell me you're gonna fight it. It looks like a dragon to me. We don't know that for sure. You can tell me if it gets too dangerous. Wonderful. And I wind up with all the responsibility as usual. That Hellion is called a Drake. It's a younger form of dragon. It looks like the city's malevolence is energizing it somehow. Then we have to kill it while we still have time. Wait! Don't, Alicia! Hold on! Look oh, out. crap! That was close.
Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. Huh. <sighs> Again? Well, we gotta do something. Edna, you said that the malevolence in the city is energizing that thing, right? Probably. Then we should focus on purifying the malevolence. Indeed. I expect that would naturally weaken the Drake. Although it sounds like a huge hassle. Well, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette. The plan sounds good enough to me. Though your choice of metaphor less so. Even if we do manage to weaken it, we can't fight it if we can't bring it down. We'll find a way to accomplish that too. With everyone's help. Hassle times two. Slow and steady wins the race, Edna. Oh, yes. I prefer that metaphor to the one where we're eggs that go splat. Time to begin operation slow and steady. Guess that's all the hellhounds in town. The epidemic here should settle at least a little bit now. Yeah, but only momentarily. It was not done in vain. The malevolence has subsided considerably. Shall I help you carry those? No, I'm just fine. A history of Monmouth culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey! Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. These are valuable books. I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Oh, then all the more reason I should be help- It's fine. It's a classified location. Don't tell anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Something's up. You think so? Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library. I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kind of funny to bury books in a graveyard. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. All right. Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. Who's there? You're... So you lied to us about protecting the books? <gasps> it was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Malevolence! We're taking these back. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew. Someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Nafe for me? <sighs> K. 
catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down, to be brought to justice. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. We going in? So, are you scared of ghosts too? Would you like me to hold your hand? It's not like that! You understand, don't you, Saray? I'm sensing a huge domain. There's definitely a strong hellion here. It could be hiding anywhere in the museum. We better canvas the entire area. See what I did there? Canvas is a fabric used as a painting service and... Please stop. Oh wow, I just got it. See, it was just enough explaining. It wants us to come in. Looks like it. So there's no Guardian Seraph here, either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality... There was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the celestial record. When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are Seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the Seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez. Such important cultural artifacts. This is awful. We can't forgive this. We won't be defeated! I demand Is that really a scorpion? It's so large. But that makes it easier to hit, right? Purification complete! On the ruins? This one could be much stronger. You've really seen hellions like this in that ruin? When it's go time, we go all the way! Overdo it and you'll just exhaust yourself, Saray. All things in moderation, as they say.
What sinister writings? It looks like they were scrawled in blood. <laughs> Be on your guard! Oh my! I can see fairies! I believe they're also Hellions! Sure makes me hungry. Is this a statue of the shepherd? What senseless vandalism. Let us relish this victory. 
victory and sally forth. This statue... It radiates such dignity. You can tell from his expression that he must have been a great warrior. A fine man. I would like to see his entire body. Oh, but... but wouldn't he be... More or less naked? That's what makes him attractive. In an aesthetic sense. W well it's true that the perfectly toned body of a warrior may be aesthetically pleasing, but... Alicia! Unladylike! No, I only meant it as a generalization. I, I really have no personal interest in that sort of thing. Not at all, huh? I, I mean, not much. Just enough. Th the uh, normal amount. Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Though it's true that King Claudin epitomizes the warrior ideal. Hold on, this is King Meliodas, right? Not King Claudin. What? But then it wouldn't match with the style at all. Yes, because this bust was carved as a speculation on the style of future generations. I think your interpretation is a bit far-fetched. Well, I think you're trapped in stereotypical views. All right. Look, let's drop our preconceptions and start over then. Can we identify the subject? What features stand out? Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Do we really need to do this? Such is what I expect of the Seraphim's power. Eating people? Wh what is this about? <laughs> Swing your sword around and win. What about swinging an umbrella around? I'll fuse them if you want, I guess. This hellion must be the source. Looking for you, it isn't a ghost, Nikolia. I told you it's not like that. Save it for later.
That's a weird name. Well, aren't you rude? Don't you know that Attack is a Norman name of the highest pedigree? Means I'm fancy. It looks sort of like the thing attached to Edna's umbrella. Let's save talk of Edna's thingy for later, shall we? That one's a particularly long story. It is it? Is? Hey, Lila, what's a Norman? They're a special kind of seraphim. They aren't quite as powerful as a lord of the land, but they can still be a help to other seraphim. How? Well, they have the ability to boost another seraph's power. They're kind of like a maid of sorts. That's my Lila! You know me like the back of your lily white hand. Like a maid? I'm afraid I'm not so sure I get it. Lila's explanations can be pretty off the cuff. <laughs> Silly billies like you could never understand what Lila and I mean to each other. Not sure I want to understand. Well, anyways, y'all are Lila's friends and all. Maybe I can treat you to some grub. turned into a Hellion. I remember. It was me. I went out of my head, tore my beloved treasures apart, and... and now they're gone forever! turn into a Hellion. I'm sure it's hard for you, but can you tell us about it? Well, I've always had a real big thing for art, you know? <laughs> Moved in here a good long while back. Oh. Got to whittle my 
my days away just people watching and gazing at fine art. I wasn't worshipped or nothing, but I weren't lonely neither. Sounds like a good life. I was happy. <laughs> Real happy. Since the countries took to fighting, the humans started to get real nasty. That country's bad, they'd say. That country's art is bad. Slash it. Burn it. So they used art just as fuel for the fires of war. It's true. That's when they started to move the art on the black market. Oh, so that's where it all went. They were laughing and clutching their money in their, their grubby little hands! Hooray for war! Hooray for profits! I got so mad, so dejected, I felt my anger bubbling up, but I was beyond caring! And then... That's when I became a Hellion. It's not your fault, Attack. Thanks, son. I appreciate it and all, but I'd like to be alone for a little while. never thought that the source of all that malevolence would be the love of art. Yeah, that was unexpected. It's the Kingdom of Highland that caused Attack such pain. If only I had been able to do something. Malevolence can come from anyone's spirit. Especially when that spirit holds hate for other people. And for us Seraphim, the influence we receive from the vessel in particular can be a danger. So if I started generating malevolence, it'd put everyone in danger? All of us could become Hellions. <sighs> Saray, Alicia, the people in their despair cling to those with power that surpasses theirs far more tightly than you may imagine. Do not undervalue your ideals, nor the things that are in your power to accomplish. A shepherd's emotions towards the people he rescues are also his greatest enemy, in a way. Okay, understood. Didn't she just tell you not to be so stiff and serious? Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> but I suppose I don't need to worry about you. We'll get started so you don't have to. Just doing what's within our power, right? Feels like the malevolence has been lifted somewhat, don't you think? Indeed it has. But we still need to find a way to bring the Drake down. Saray, can you head to the base of the Great Tree? Huh? Oh yeah, sure. Here. For whom? 
for me, silly. I wonder where Edna went off to. Who knows what goes on in her head? Ah! I'm back. What is wrong with you? Huh? A attack? I'm here to help! Heard tell you folks could be using an extra jolt of power. We just might. If I combine attack's power with my arrows, we can bring down the Drake! Edna told me that y'all are trying super duper hard to fix things up. If this glum bum town gets back on its feet, folks might finally remember the place of art in a civilized society. Thank you, Edna. I just thought it might work. And here it comes. Drat, it's so dark I can barely see it. That's a good thing. You can fight without worrying about humans catching sight of you. Hey, good thinking. So how exactly should we go about shooting this thing down? That I don't know. Tonight's supposed to be a full moon. All we need is some light. The clouds are receding. Let's look for a place where we can aim our shot with the aid of the moonlight. I guess I just have to get used to it. Oh, you're still awake? Uh, duh. I've been here a while now. Why aren't you saying anything? It's not like you and I need to hold back on what we say. Yeah, we aren't like that, right? Of course. I'm gonna go to sleep. Sorry about all this. You mean, good night. I've always thought that the name Attack was a little strange, but never imagined it was also the name of a skill. So you've noticed, huh? Huh? Was I not supposed to? I'll explain it briefly. Equipment skills come from the boon of the Lord of the Land. In other words, they're a godsend. Fifty primary elements have been found through various arrangements of mana and elements. By combining those fifty elements, additional effects are born. And by infinitely fusing and combining them, seraphim and humans are created in the same way. Interesting. Yeah, and the purest elements of all combine to make... Norman, right? Uh, no. Gemstones, used to make jewelry and stuff like that. Hey! Fifty elite humans were gathered to research each of those elements, namely... The Norman. But then the project gets thrown into crisis by a late newcomer. When are you going to get to the part about the Norman? Norman, don't appear until chapter 23. Now quit rushing me. Huh? Was I not supposed to ask that question? You're working quite hard. Oh, 
sorry for being so loud at this hour of the night. It's fine. If anything, I'm reassured. Honestly, I don't think I could beat you. I'd always imagined that princesses enjoyed things like dancing in ballrooms and eating sweets. But I guess I was wrong. Not necessarily. Most princesses are usually like that. But that's just not me. I usually bring up reforms and stuff like that even during those times. So I tend to get on people's bad side. I just want people to focus on the real issues in front of them. Alicia. Besides, this is just how I relieve stress, and I've become incredibly skilled with the lance as a result. Nonetheless, I must admit it wasn't the best idea to practice by myself in the middle of the night. Good night. In terms of her thoughtfulness and love for her country, she's truly an ideal princess. But... She seems like she's pushing herself pretty hard. Yeah, I'm a bit worried. This is it. One shot is enough. Saray, I'll do the aiming. Right, and I'll pick when to fire. Now! <laughs> nice! Is this big and this strong? You can't be serious. He should know the difference in size and scale a dragon has by now. We are here to do whatever must be done. That's right. As we are now, we can do it. Whatever. We should try not to die out there. Just a drake. 
Sure, we might not be strong enough to beat a dragon yet, but... Yeah! We will get there someday! The flames of purification! Might you be the shepherd? So, you must be Marlins. Guardian Seraph Rohan. Or should I say, I was. I very nearly became a dragon. I have no right to continue protecting this town. Don't say that. Seraph Rohan. I am Alicia Difta, Princess of the Kingdom of Highland. It is we who must bear the blame. We who corrupted the hearts of the people and set you on the path to becoming a Hellion. But I assure you that I shall set things right. If you must punish anyone, let it be me. So please, if it's still possible, let us have your blessing just this once. You're an impassioned young princess, I'll give you that. You can see me? Yes. I have pledged myself as Soray's squire. Have you? And you're okay? Huh? Uh. I see. The malevolence in town has lowered significantly. You're the one who dispelled it? We all did. Hmm. Then so be it. I'll extend my blessing. I want to help too! Thank, Thank you. you so much. It appears the corruption has yet to spread to this tree. Using this as a vessel, I shall expand the blessed domain. What's this? What happened? There's still a mega powerful Hellion running around near here. The domain it's creating is in the way, and we can't stop the invasion of the lesser Hellions. A major Hellion? Where? To the southwest. It isn't far. Saray, we must defeat it. But if we leave the town in this state. With your guards all a-sleeping and your hellions all a-creeping? Sorry. Sorry, I just blinked out for a second there. You need a rest. In. Now. Indeed. Good ideas will surely come after we take a breather. Hmm. The young shepherd's starting to deteriorate. I ought to be more understanding. Deteriorate? You really found yourself a peach of a shepherd. <laughs> Good on you. Why, thank you. You two go way back, don't you? There was a time once when the Norman Seraphim and I traveled together. Lila was like an idol to us. At one point, all 49 of us begged her to make us her sublords. You didn't go for it? Um, no. Let's all just be friends, she told us. What a cruel woman. Well, 49 is a bit much. The trauma nearly killed us! We all scattered over the globe to be alone with our melancholy. What? Surely that wasn't necessary. You sadistic harpy. I don't think I'm a harpy. Ah, it's all good. Us Norman, we roll with life's punches. 
We all treasure it as a bittersweet memory from when we was carefree young'uns. This nostalgia trip is boring me, but it's true that Norman have useful abilities. If we find any more, let's catch him. It'd be sad if they turned into Hellions. I'd get a kick out of seeing my old buddies again. I promise we'll help you folks out. The Normans' powers sure are interesting. Not as much as their faces, though. Yes, the Normans' ability to assist is quite helpful, and each one has different capabilities. They all look the same, though. Its abilities change from combining them in different ways, right? They have bad attitudes, even though they're Norman. Yes, there should be increasing numbers of Norman which you could combine to make new effects. Norman times Norman equals Norman how. You sure have it in for the Norman, Edna. Not really. Just a bone or two to pick. By which I mean 77 confrontations, 108 complaints, and 32 appeals. That's all. Sounds... complicated. Could you tell me more about equipment skills? Way to have your head in the game. First, let's go over the basic skills. Basic skills can be broken down into 10 groups with 5 different elements. So in total, it's 10 times 5. Think you can do the math, genius? There are 50 Norman named after the basic skill they offer. Each one has the power to draw forth that specific skill. So if you find a skill that you like, go find that Norman and send them off to the Lord of the Land to do your dirty work. Elements and skill groups aren't just for tweaking the effects of your skills. They're also closely linked to bonus skills. That's all the time we have for today. See you again next week! Next week? We're doing this again? How are you feeling? Right as rain. Good. We don't need a sick shepherd. That'd be bad! <sighs> and precisely how long had you been saving that one? <laughs> Looks like we've got our saray back. The shepherd. Perfect timing. Agil! We heard about the bridge. You're a superstar! Well, you know... 
You know? Well, whatever. Anyway, we need you to sign for this. Huh? Me? More medicine. It was ordered by a guy named Naif. I guess you're right. Also a message. I found a group of mercenaries headed toward Marland and asked them to protect the town, but they refused me. I have asked for additional reinforcements from Lady Lake, but it will take some time. That's all. Mercenaries. They might work in a pinch. Can mercenaries stand against the Hellions? Probably not the Hellhounds, but they might be able to handle lesser Hellions. They are vicious, but they are visible. And little. But they already refused the guard job. I could try asking again as sincerely as possible. Wouldn't hurt to go try. Thanks for passing along the message. Hey. Why are you going through all this trouble anyway? Why? I mean, you can't just not help people in trouble. Hmm. I get it. I get that you're weird. Now, where is the medicine going? The sanctuary! Gotcha. Oh, hey! You didn't happen to run into a group of mercenaries on the way here, did you? You mean the woodsmen? They came with us. I think they're probably still in town. They said they were gonna stock up. then, this time we'll be covering skill groups. We are not going to talk about bonus skills? We are the ones doing the teaching around here. Shut up and listen. Y yes ma'am! It wouldn't be prudent to explain everything at once, so I'll start off with the ones you can obtain in the beginning phases. So first, there's the status column. This increases basic stats by a certain percentage. Here, it's wise to improve upon your given strengths. Then there's the HP column. If you're prone to damage, it's best to improve on this. Or just don't get hit in the first place, doofus. But anyways, as you can see, aligning the same skill group together to carry out a tactical battle is one option that you have. And that's where the bonus skill comes into play. See you again next week! Next week again?! Hurry and get your supplies! We can't be wasting time in a crazy town like this one. What happened? Wild dogs were attacking the sanctuary, but these guys put them down. Gotta admit, that was some fine teamwork. Those dogs are Hellions. And no pushovers either. Well, for a human anyway. Excuse me, may I ask you a favor? Huh? You're talking to the woodsman, bub. We don't do babysitting. And we won't get your kitty out of a tree. It's about a job only you guys can handle. I'm the leader, Lucas. What's this job you speak of? We want you to protect Marlin for a little while. Yeah, we were asked that before, but turned it down. Ain't taking no chances guarding over a place that's diseased. Hey, boss. The kid you're talking to is the shepherd. The miracle bridge maker? This scrawny little duckling? You're pulling my chain, right? We found a way to bring Marlin back to how it was, but we have to leave town to do it. And the guards here aren't in a condition to fight because of the epidemic. So you want us to handle it, huh? We do the grunt work so you can get the glory. Is that how it is? It's nothing of the sort. 
Huh, so you say. What do you need? Let me tell you something, Mr. Shepard. Money talks and horse crap walks. If you're serious about it, put your cash on the table, then we'll talk. How about it, Mr. Shepard? Well, well. Looky here. The Shepard comes through. Guess we really can trust you after all. You trust whoever gives you money? And what else, pray tell, should be my motivation? Duty, chivalry? Let's say this epidemic kills one of my subordinates. Will duty and chivalry step in to take care of his grieving family? W well But if I have money, I can make sure they've got a safety net. That's the kind of contract I have with my team. And that's why, in return, they're willing to put their lives on the line. <sighs> you need to start facing reality, sister. Facing reality, huh? So, you want us to guard the town, huh? We'll take the job, but on one condition. In return... Can we do whatever we want to this town while you're away? Saray, are you sure about this? It's fine. No one who values contracts so highly would do anything sleazy. You passed the test. All right, you bums, we got a job to do. We're staying in Marland and guarding it. Alpha and Bravo squad secure the perimeter. Charlie handle things in town. I'll go tell the guards what's up. These orders come from the Shepherd himself. Don't slack off out there. What's this? Your change. It's our policy to accept a reasonable price for the job we do. Well, they're cheaper than we imagined. We may not look it, but we value our customers. So, that was Lucas and the Woodsman, huh? They sure are a funny bunch. It seems people form bonds in more ways than I realized. Their logic makes sense, though, if you buy their premises in the first place. Those who give themselves completely to what they believe in are all the more pure for doing so. It's true that I felt no malevolence from them. You mean malevolence doesn't spring merely from the distinction between right and wrong? Even a villain might not bear any malevolence, specifically because they believe so thoroughly in their villainy. Yeah, man, this malevolence stuff is tricky business. Well, be assured at least that it's a very good thing you're so concerned about it. I think it's good too, Saray. Though it's a fine line between pure and naive. Can't argue with you there. Ah, this is making my brain hurt!
hair standing on end. There's something lurking deep inside here. Yes, even I can sense something wrong here. You should be on your guard most when things are going well. Ready, everyone? May your knowledge. It's a moving plant? A hellion. Don't always reside in animals. forest was a ruin too. We haven't found a ruin yet that wasn't crawling with hellions. The malevolence really is widespread. I'm sorry. <sighs> it tears me up inside seeing all these ruins defiled. But if we purify the hellions while we explore the ruins, isn't that like two birds with one stone? Think about how jealous of our adventures literally every other historian and archaeologist will be. You're such a sweet, simple soul. You know that? 
Huh? You're right. Fretting over this won't get us any closer to our answers. We should all take a page out of Miklio's book and laugh at our worries. And if Saray thinks you're happy-go-lucky, I think Miklio's in shock. Let's get going, touchy-feely Miklio. Hey, you're doing this on purpose. Or for short, touchy-feelio. No, no nicknames. We're quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. Could this be Elixir? The all-healing panacea made by Mount Tellus? Oh my, what a delightful butterfly. Whoops, I guess it's random o'clock again. Anyway, the Elixir, you think it's the real thing? According to the celestial record, the methods used to make Elixir were lost ages ago. And look, an icky going creepo crawl a creepo crawl I guess we won't know for sure unless we try it you think that's safe it'll just be a drop whoa I feel rejuvenated it is the real thing nice wish we could just buy this at the store that'll be difficult the only remaining elixir left in the world of humans is in custody of the church the church huh <laughs> ran out of bugs I take it She's gullible. Way too gullible. I want to become stronger as a Seraph. You have more than enough talent for it. Don't push yourself too hard. Experience. 
Confidence leads to confidence. Who's next? Ready? Yes! My design! Is this like the plant boss of the area? No, it looks like a mutant hellion. Like Ouroboros. Mutant hellion? It's probably the effect of the anomalous orbs. Just like the ones Knight Arthur and Echidna had. Let's keep our guard up. My powers aren't much, but I try. <sighs> now the blessing should return to Marlin. You couldn't see it, could you? So the Squire's Pact is affecting you. No, I just wasn't paying attention. Alicia and Miklio nearly died because of you. Well, I'm not dead, and Saray was only hiding it for Alicia's sake. I understand that, but even so, he's at his limit. I know. Saray? Alicia! Thank goodness. Don't worry about me. It looks like we were able to expand Rohan's domain. Well, that's that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I do want to check in on Lucas's crew. Here. Thanks.